As Kyle Higashioka continues to have more and more success with nearly every appearance, I'm seeing more and more fans call for him to be the everyday starter behind the dish for the Yankees. I thought it would be fun to take a look at the numbers through the first 10% or so of the season. So let's start with Gary Sanchez. Gary struggled in 2020, but he made some adjustments this winter and he got off to a pretty good start with a home run on opening day and the next day. But so far this season, Gary has had 53 plate appearances, picked up just nine hits, has a 200 batting average, and has hit two home runs and knocked in four runs. His OPS is 676, well below league average. Baseball Savant, which is kind of a stat cast home for baseball stats, shows that Gary Sanchez is in the bottom 22% of the league in terms of his framing pitches. Now, for those of you who don't understand what framing a pitch means, pitch framing is a catcher's method of receiving the pitch from the pitcher, using subtle movements of his wrist and his hand, the way he's holding his glove, with the intent of presenting the pitch to the umpire in a manner that increases the likelihood that the pitch will be called a strike. In other words, he makes close pitches that would otherwise be called balls be called a strike. Gary Sanchez is in the 22nd percentile at this, so he's worse than about 78% of the league. But Gary definitely hits the ball very hard. Harder than 88% of the league, in fact, with his maximum exit velocity being higher than 91% of the league. He's very strong. Now to Kyle Higashioka. First of all, he's a few years older than Gary Sanchez. And he's the backup, so he doesn't have quite as many plate appearances, just 21 to Gary's 53. However, he has one more home run and one more run batted in so far than Gary. He's also batting 353, which is really impressive for a guy who doesn't get to the plate very often. Very small sample size, but he's obviously been better offensively so far. His maximum exit velocity, which is something that the Yankees definitely value, so don't undercount this is better than 68% of the league. Remember, Gary was better than 91% of the league, but defensively is where Kyle Higashioka can really shine. He's in the 100th percentile of pitch framing. That basically means that he's better than everyone else in the league at getting questionable pitches called strikes rather than balls. But to be fair, he generally catches Garrett Cole, who has pretty good command of the baseball and probably gets the benefit of the doubt on a lot of those close pitches from umpires, kind of like Michael Jordan used to get the foul calls. I'm not taking sides on this one yet, just because Gary has shown me enough improvement offensively this season that I still think there might be 35 home runs in there. But as we've seen recently, home runs are not everything, and it's important to have guys who can just put the ball in play, which is something that Kyle Higashioka does very well. I would like to see Kyle Higashioka get a little bit more playing time. Last night, he seemed to work pretty well with Domingo Herman, so maybe you let him catch Domingo next time through the rotation as well and see how it goes. I think he's the best backup catcher in the league right now, and having him play 40% of the time instead of 20% of the time might be a good idea, and it might also keep Gary Sanchez healthy. So we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you on the post-game reaction.